Compare with the development of 4G, how do you think the development path of 5G is different? No, I think you make you make very good points there. I mean, I think the main difference, there's two main issues really. One is the maturity of the market that 5G has launched into. As you say, in, in some parts of the world, 4G was a real step change for many users. They went from a 500 kilobit per second mobile internet experience to probably at the start of 4G, a 2 to 5 to 10 megabits per second experience. So there was a, a significant improvement. We saw something of a step forward in terms of sort of media consumption on, on smartphones in, in particular. So there were services that were really sort of lit up by the 4G experience. So you had this, this sort of significant step change. And as, as you kind of point out, when you look at the market 5G is entering or has entered over the last few years, the, the performance of 4G networks is pretty good. There are not billions of 4G users out there complaining about the quality of their mobile experience and desperate for something better. So given the types of services we all use on our phones, YouTube, Netflix, TikTok, watching a short video on a smartphone over 4G is a perfectly satisfactory experience. If you were doing it on 3G sort of 10 years ago, you would have had the, the buffer wheel, a very pixelated video, um, just not a great experience. So the average 4G user is, is not necessarily sort of looking at their phone and thinking, I need something better. I need the next step forward. So 5G has challenges there in terms of explaining to consumers what the value proposition is. What can they do better with their phones? So I think that's probably the first issue, this completely different climate that 5G is entering. I would say the second the second factor that's different between 4G and 5G is probably China. China has been very early with 5G, um, both on the network side, on how advanced the networks that have been deployed are, so the, the use of 5G standalone rather than the, the older sort of non-standalone version of 5G that, that sort of dominates in most of the rest of the world. And China has brought volume to the, the 5G smartphone market in a way that it did when it eventually launched 4G, but China was probably three or four years behind some of the, the leading sort of Western markets in terms of deployment of 4G. So we've 5G has been fascinating in that it has been a technology launch where very early in the in the technology life cycle we've had real sort of mass market low cost devices being being available to consumers. That's something we just haven't seen with 4G, with with 3G or 2G. And no no mobile technology before now has, has suddenly been catapulted into a sort of a high volume market inside of the first 18 months of, of network launches.